What's going on there, YouTube? This is Chris from the Mars and Omni's channel. Um, for all the people that don't know, the, the viewers that are watching this now, I not only believe that there's actually modern day anomalies uh, on um, Mars, you know, like structures, vehicles, so on and so forth. I happen to run on to this area where it has an actual road and it has cars on it. Now, I've only seen the one pretty much. Um, and some people will say, you know, well, you're out of your mind, but a lot of people have said, man, you're not kidding. It absolutely looks like a car. And you can actually see what looks like a guardrail on the side of it. And there's a bunch of manipulated little things before and after it. Um, but now, not only that, I want to show the people, um, uh, some people just don't quite believe that, you know, uh, NASA's lying about it. They're not manipulating their pictures and stuff like that. And that's fine. You're free to believe what you want. But I'm going to show you on Sol 510, that's what the days are called on Mars, if you're not familiar with it, and uh, a Sol 515, both the same area, but you're going to see some discrepancies on how they manipulated it. Nonetheless, these things are still there. But I'm kind of glad. That, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm glad that uh, I'm glad, kind of glad that they did that because they actually bring out something else in here. Now, I am very close to a hundred percent believing that this is not only a road, but there's multiple cars on this road now. And I've been saying that they're manipulated, but <laughs> they make a mistake. And I'm going to show you this right here. These are the these are right here. Let me see if this is the first one. Okay, this is what I showed you guys before. This is the actual road. You can go from left to right. See this line right here? There's your guardrail. It runs all along. And there's the vehicle in question. Okay, and I can see like this has been bent up. And, I've, and, and for all the viewers who've already seen this, they know what I'm talking about. Um, it looks like it's been in an accident. This car has been in an accident. And you can see these other little manipulated things. They just look like a bunch of stuff. Just like, you can call them rocks if you want, but they're not rocks. They're made to look like just parts of the hillside or whatever this is. Um, and this is not a hillside either. I've already proven that. Um, there's some other kind of weird structures or something sitting along the side of this. But um, I was looking at this here and I'm saying, wow, that just doesn't look right. Um, you know, I said it might have just slammed into something. That's why it looks like the front end sticking up here. No. After I've seen this other manipulation, how they messed this up, it's not. It's an actual another car facing this way. And you can see the roof right here, the windshield right here, and then you'll see the front end and the other picture. So this actually collided with another car. There's another one right here. And then I'm going to show you something that's pretty wild. And so there's like multiple, and, I, and I've been saying this all along. There's another one sitting right here. It's facing this way, up like towards this whatever this is supposed to be a hill here. There's actually a wheel right here, and there's one in the front. There's one facing this way, one this way, one this way. There's actually, there's one picture I've only seen that actually shows this one right here that's facing this way. In other words, what I mean by it is you can actually make it out somewhat. Um, they're not there to let you see these. Uh, although, if there is an actual inside person working on this stuff, show us a little bit more. Just just throw us a little bone here and there so we can pick this stuff out. I mean, if there's an insider trying to, like, you know, just let it slip out periodically, and if they are watching any of these videos, it could be Will's, mine, um, you know, uh you know my buddy Christian over there at uh, the Olympus Sky. If you guys want to just like just slip this stuff out, do that. I mean, you know, if you want to get it out because you're thinking, hey, you know, the people have the right to know, then do it, man. Just slip it out every now and then, so we can find this stuff. Um, you know, you know, at least it's wishful thinking. I'd like to see this. Um, but you're going to see something that's pretty wild. And the reason why I'm really set on this is that I really truly believe this is because uh, you'll see this in a second. All right, let me see. This is the one. Now, this is where it gets crazy. Now, this is, uh, yeah, this is the Sol 510. What happened to the car? Look at it. It's like it's buried now halfway up. Here's the rooftop to it. All right, here's that other car sitting right there. It's still there, but why is it all of a sudden that, that car looks like it's buried halfway up to the roof? Well, halfway up the side of it, I should say, because look at this. That's that one. And this is this one. You can see the whole vehicle. You can see the top of the wheel well back here, the wheel here. You can see pretty much now at the other pitch, it's like buried halfway up this car. Why is that? Well, let me guess. They had a super snowstorm or a sandstorm, rather, and it's completely buried? Come on. Um, but I'm kind of glad they did this. <laughs> I'm going to show you this. This is pretty cool. So we can get rid of these right now because um, I'm going to show you this right here because I've got the enhanced pitches I want to show you guys. Um, okay. Now, this is where I say they make a little boo-boo here, and I'm, and I'm really glad that they did. Um but here's the car, like I said, this one that's going facing this way. Now, if you were to stand right in front of it, let's say you were standing right here and you were standing right in front of this car. If you look where my cursor is, the arrow is, the hood is not going to be like this. It's not completely straight across. It's slanted. Like the passenger side is actually in the ground and you can't see it because there's other cars in its way. The driver's side, when it's 
tilted like this is on the right side of it. It's over here on this side of this window. So front windshield, you can see the curvature of it, and it goes down like this. And there's the roof. And here's the other car that's right here. Apparently it ran into it. But, okay, let's do a little, let's try to pop this out a little bit more. Uh, if I can get my mouse to work, it'd be great. Um, let me see. All right. So now we get it to pop here a little bit better, and you can see the railing pretty darn clear. I mean, it's right there. Here's that other car. You can see the curvature of the windshield, and it comes down. And it looks like the front of this thing is kind of blending with that, and here's the rooftop to it. Okay. So let's blur it up a little bit so we can get some rid of some of the graininess, but there it is. Okay. And we're going to shop it up a little bit. Okay, now what I try to do is try to get rid of this fisheye effect that they have, these fisheye lenses, which is retarded. Um, I think they're just trying to give this illusion that it's like something, like a lot smaller area or a lot larger, call it what you will. Somehow they're trying to do this. Now when I do this, uh, readjust the lens distortion, um, what will happen is this will get kind of zoomed in, but you're going to see this is like more straighter now. Now watch this. Okay, now you can still see that car, and it's completely straight. And this is no different. Believe it or not, guys, this runs completely straight if it was straight across. But because they're using a fisheye lens, it gives it that illusion of this, this curvature of the ground. It's not. It's a complete straight line. Picture this for a moment. Let's say, hypothetically, this is 110% real. And I believe it is. Um, but let's say it's not. Whether it is or it isn't, that's your prerogative. You can believe that if you will. But picture this thing sitting here taking the real pictures of this. The actual real color, real picture, right there in your face, nothing blotched out, the real stuff. Wow. That must be, like, un unbelievable. Um, uh, let me see. I can blur it up a little bit. And like I said, now you can actually see that. I, I believe by doing this, you can actually see this car a little bit, the one that's in front, just a hair bit better. Um, see it right there? You can actually see just in front of this. Here's this, the rooftop of this car, and it goes down. Here's the front wheel of it. And, and here's the other windshield. It's right there, and here's the roof of it. It's actually facing this way. This one's facing this way, of course. Okay. Blur it up a little bit. Reshop it. And I actually inverted just to show you that this car is there. In other words, if you inverted this and it totally changed, then you know it's a manipulation, meaning they just distorted really, really bad. Um, but it doesn't. It's it's right there. It's still right there. There's the tires. I, I'm thinking these might be just rims. I mean, you know, they, maybe it, if they had rubber tires like we have on ours, well, then they've probably eroded and everything else, and they're gone. Or they use something totally different, who knows. But there's that windshield of the car, there's the roof. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that real quick. Um, now, this is where they make a mistake. And this was between this, I, I this actually popped out because I just noticed their manipulations, and so it made me, you know, uh, really go after this. Um, let me see what I've got here. Okay, here's the other one here. Now, this is the one that's buried, and I, I, and I can't understand why that is, but it is. Um, Okay, now, here's, here's the actual picture you get, this one here. This is the one that's, uh, this is, yeah, this is the fi uh, Sol 515. Okay, um, and of course they blend this so well you wouldn't know the difference. Look at it. <laughs> Even if you zoomed in, um, I don't know if this thing's just getting played out or what, this mouse, I've had it for quite a while. Um, but you can see that it's still there, but you eh, you just be like, ah, I don't do it, I'm not seeing it. Okay, let's make it pop a little bit more. But you can see they messed this up. And everybody who's been following me on this, they know what I'm talking about. They, look at this. It's like suddenly they, they filled in a bunch of dirt right here, and it's like halfway up the vehicle. But nonetheless, you can and see like they tried to go into here, and they just went into this rooftop of this and kind of messed it up right there. But there's the roof line right there, down. This would be the pillar there from going from the roof to the actual front of the car, or the, um, yeah, you, the nose of the car, and the windshield right here. But now if you look carefully, there's a line that goes right here, and runs just like that. Okay? So there's one facing this way, this one's facing this way, but this is where it gets crazy, dude, guys. I just, it's just, it's mind blowing, and I'm glad they did this. Um, watch this. This was pretty good. Um, they, let me go back to this one first. I'm going to show you what I mean. Okay. Now, if you look here, after I saw this one here, seen the roof, like I said, the roof, your windshield, all that. Okay. Seen this car, and I went back, I said, well, you can still see the railing pretty darn good. And like I said, this was in 510, saw 510. Now look behind this particular view. Oh, there's one here. It's actually facing this way. And like I said, up, it's got the wheel wells. And you'll see it somewhat better, I think, in the other one. But keep going back. There's a wheel right here. It looks like a wheel 
in an actual wheel well in front of a car. The reason why that is is because it actually is. It's in the picture. <laughs> um, it's you now watch this. Let me see if I can do this here. You won't see it right away, but there's the car that's half buried. This is on Sol uh, 515. Um, it's right there. There's that wheel. There's the wheel well, and there's the body of the car. Now, I'm going to show you that right here. Okay. There's our regular car that's halfway buried and manipulated. Okay. There's the other one sitting right there. There's actually, I don't know if there's like junk laying near this or what, but you can actually see there's actually a round circle here. You guys may not see that because it's such a fine detail, but if you decide to do this work yourself, you're going to see what I mean. Here's that wheel. Here's the, the wheel well. And there's the actual hood, but it actually goes up, and there's a roof right here. There's a rooftop right here to it, and it goes down. Um, watch this. Now, this one's really hard to bring up because oh, here's, the, here's the regular picture again. That's the regular picture. And if you just zoom back out and you didn't know any better, because I'm not pointing it out, you wouldn't see this thing in 100 years. Um, but by paying attention to detail and lines, you can see this pretty well. Um, that's why I'm just telling you guys that uh, this is 100% like just right there in your face kind of thing okay so right there okay all right so let me show you this better view that I've got well not better but I try to go about it in a different way to try to get this to pop but like I said you can see this you know right there here's that other car and here's the other one okay so now you look back here here's that wheel here's the uh, wheel well and an actual vehicle right here now there's something else here that's on the side of it because I can see there's something here. It's got this kind of weird top radius to it, but it looks like it has these little legs sticking out, and it's on the other side of this vehicle. So um, now I'm gonna this this is gonna be kind of too bright on the right hand side, but I'm trying to bring this out right here. If you look right here, you can actually see right here the wheel well, wheel, front end, the nose to it, and it comes up, goes across, well goes down. You can actually see where it slants down. You guys won't see this detail here, but there's actually there's a little wheel here. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up. Even put a little color into it, see if we can get it to pop a little bit. But you can see right here, it actually goes down, right here, and comes down. And once you actually look at this thing, sometimes you can invert this. Now, when you invert it, see how it's got that other little thing standing next to it? But it looks like it's got these little legs standing near it. Now, I don't know what that is. It's on the other side of the road. It might be just junk just scattered around. I don't know what it is. But there's actually very, very, you can just see just a circle. Um, and all these hardcore guys, guys, you guys like to do this yourselves. Take a look at this. You'll see like a small circle, like a very, very fine, perfect circle. Like this is the back wheel. So you got the wheel here, wheel well, nose of the vehicle comes up. Here's a roof line. See it right there, and goes down. The reason why I inverted this so I can actually show you this a little bit better um, and try to get it to pop. But okay, so there it is, a little bit darker here. And of course, it's you know I'm really trying to pull the stuff out because it's there. Um, but See, you go back and you can just see that right there. Now, the other picture, like I said, shows that. You can see it right here on the left-hand side. There's that wheel, wheel well, front of the car, and you can see the hood. Okay? And it's right behind this other. There's another one right here. See this railing going across here? Well, look right here. It looks like this like, circle type thing. And there's another. There's a vehicle going this way. It looks like there's another one on the side of it. I don't know what that is, but there's something there. There's, then you got this one right here, the front of this one, this one here, and the one going this way. And like I said, if you if if you can, I mean, there's many solves that has this particular picture. You just have to look through these um, to see this one right here that's actually facing towards this way, like towards almost like the towards the Curiosity Rover. Um, but I'm sticking to this, guys. I mean, this is like big time. Um, and like I said, you can let me see if I can do this here. Okay. And just by doing the lens distortion, see how you can actually straighten this out a little bit so it doesn't look as bad. Or see how like it. I mean, I'm just telling you right now. There is no curvature to this, to this. It's just straight out. I mean, it's a straight road, and this thing's been running along it. So I'd be interested in you know getting your your take on this, guys, and tell me what you think. Um, because I mean, here it is, man. And I'm glad that they made this mistake because I've been looking for this kind of thing. Uh, you know, like I said, I mean, come on. You can go from one day. This is like I said. This is Sol 510, and then five days later. I mean, you can see that car pretty darn well. This is probably the best picture I've seen of this particular anomaly, this vehicle right here. Like I said, here's your railing. This is probably the clearest one they've got. But then, I mean, just go to, um, you know, the, your this one here. If I have to back back up, 
suddenly that thing is half buried. How does that happen? Even if you guys disagree what these things are, and that's fine. I mean, that's your prerogative. Why is it buried? Why is it suddenly half buried right there? You can see it right up to halfway up this vehicle or whatever this is. To me, it's a vehicle. I mean, if you guys want to think it's something else, that's fine. But, you know, right there, suddenly it's half buried? Come on. Where's the railing go? But believe it or not, the railing is there. Um, you will actually see it. It's right here. It's actually still there, but for some reason they decided to put all this trash in right here. I don't know why they did that. Well, that's kind of a dumb question if you think about it, because they're trying to hide this stuff. But by doing that, trying to hide this, and like I said, see how clean that windshield is on this one. You can just see it right there. Comes down, here's the rooftop, and there's the there's the actual front of the car, and here's the other one, but it's half buried now. And this one here actually pops out. So I thought that was pretty cool, because when they did that, it made this one stick out. So... And like I said, you can actually see when you invert this, you can't see it. I guarantee you won't see it on this particular picture. But it's actually right in here. It's like a perfectly round, thin circle. And because of this, you, you do... I mean, come on. Let's be honest. You're going to have some kind of, you know, picture degradation. Because first of all, you're using some kind of software. So right off the bat, you lose some of it. Without even doing a thing to it. But because you're putting it into a software and running it through it, you're going to lose some kind of quality. So you have to, you know, you have to understand that. But again, there's something else... There's something right there that's... Looks like it's got like legs to it, right on the side of it, and it's just kind of like on the side. But I mean, there's so much junk in here. There's cars, and it just looks like a complete mess on this roadside. So, um, and like I said, by trying to bring this, like I said again, wheel. Now this may be just the wheel and not the tire too. If they're using something similar to what we had, well then the rubber would be gone by now. Um, somebody had quoted, well, uh, had said to me on one of my comments, well, how do we know? You know, you think these things would have rusted by now. Well, it depends. If the atmosphere is thin, they don't have much of... I mean, maybe they don't have, like, an acid rain. Or maybe the cars are built totally different out of different steel. I mean, maybe they're all, all, all aluminum. How do we know? Um, stainless steel, rather. I mean, I mean, how do we know? It could be either or. It's... it's, it's there's no way of knowing. Um, but because of these new pictures, I've seen these. Um, and here's another thing, too. If we go to... Just, just to give you guys a clue what's going on. Um, I'm going to go back to this here. Okay, and here's the, like I said, here's the, that other vehicle ta tagging behind. Okay, now let's jump to, this is the newest Sol 519. Okay, you can barely see that car, but it's right there. There's the front end of it, right there. Here's the wheel. Right on the very left edge of this picture, right there. It's right there. They're actually going forward now. They keep, they're just going to go up over this little hillside, or whatever this is. I don't think it's a hillside. I think it's because of the way they got this uh, fish-eyed lens, but... This is probably straight for all we know. I don't know. But it looks like a small hill that it's got to go over. So um, even if this was completely straight, it still looks like there's a, still like an incline type thing, like a small hillside or some kind of little hill to go up and over. So it'll be, I'll be curious to see what goes on with that. But this is the latest saw right here. And this is, I mean, look at this rock. Come on. You can see that it's very, it's larger here at the top than over here. But why is it like not even touching the ground? Like it didn't fall over. I mean, is it part of a much bigger rock underground and that's what's stopping it from falling? Or does it look like it's been manipulated, which kind of looks like to me, just by looking at this thing, it looks it doesn't look realistic at all. Um, but some things do, you know, and then some things don't. So, um, and just by the two pictures alone, what I showed you guys, just in this, like I said, suddenly this this vehicle here looks half buried, um, which is just crazy to me. Um, but the two of them are there. They're right there. And there's that other th third one right there. So I believe like 100% now, this is 100%, there's no doubt in my mind, this is a roadway. They've been running along this thing all this time. And then the very south side of Mount Shop, where they say it's an actual mountain, it's not mountains either, it's a part of that roadway. It's still part of it. And what they do is they put like this, I call it a filler, where they put like it looks like it used to be an old lake bed. They put that in to make it look like a lot larger distance. It's crazy, guys. It's just, you know, how they're doing this stuff is just, it's, it's mind-blowing. Um, but I will show you, I'll give you the links to both, um, the Solve, you know, 510 as, as well as 515. You guys, the ones that are hardcore, they've been into this stuff and they do this manipulation themselves, I'll let you have at it and you tell me what you find out. Um, but just by them doing this simple mistake, I'm going, man, why do they do that? But then I looked and I went, oh, whoa, hold on a minute. And I seen this other one, like I said, the one in the front thinking that that was some kind of, um, like I said, I thought it was some kind of. Uh, part of the car that was bent up. It's not. It's an actual another vehicle sitting right in front of it. I was like, whoa, check that out. So, you know, right there. 
But like I said, you can't really see the nose that well unless you go to the other picture that they manipulated badly where you can see half the cars going. And like I said, there's your other vehicle in the back here, just the nose of it anyway. So, you know, guys, hey, you know, let me know what you guys think, man. I mean, to me, every time they, I mean, I hate the idea that they're actually moving along because now they're starting to go this way towards, I think this is towards the south because I believe this is along that, the base of Mount Sharp, as they call it. Um, I believe they're moving along this way to the right or to south. So we're not going to see these. And I'm hoping, like I said, maybe somebody's like, you know, maybe they, maybe there's like an insider trying to be like softly blow the whistle, so to speak. And I'm hoping that's the case because then it can show us a little bit more love. You know what I mean? And then we can take it from there. But anyway, guys, um, I just figured I'd pass that along to you. And you guys can tell me what you think. Um, I, I'm kind of excited about it. I think it's 100% now. I believe it's definitely Kyle. I'm sticking to it. Uh, you guys are more than welcome to believe what you want. That's fine. Um, I don't have a problem with That's what this channel is all about. Maybe you guys see something different that I don't. Um, share it with me, you know. Um, if you're just going to throw a crazy comment or something like, uh, dude, you're an idiot, you're gone. I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, I was just watching my buddy Will's video yesterday, and he said pretty much the same thing. It's the best thing to ever do is say, you know, have the option of banning people, which is great. Because it's clear that people, some people just don't care. And then there's people you can really generally care that they, they want to manipulate you know, and I encourage people to do that. Get the if you have your own Photoshop or whatever, try to bring these things out. Make your own decisions. Don't just go watch the the video real quick and then just go, oh, this guy's an idiot, and just <laughs> thumbs down and then put you're an idiot. That's that's that tells me you're just not interested. Period. You shouldn't even be watching these videos. Period. So, but anyway, it, that doesn't matter, guys. I don't lose sleep over it. That's the truth. So, I just click one click of the mouse. See you later. So. You know, uh, to all the good people here, all my subscribers, thanks for hanging with me. Yeah, I appreciate it. I've got more one, uh, videos definitely coming out. Um, in fact, the latest one that just came out, the 519, I found something. You don't even have to uh, do any kind of manipulation to try to pop it out. It's just right there in your face. It's two things that are just really wild, and I want to get your take on it. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you next pick.